Okay, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I've got the Banneton ready. It has the hairnet in it. I've used this hairnet many times and a piece of uh, paper toweling underneath to absorb any possible moisture that leaks out. This is what the dough looks like. And I am going to shape it as best I can. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to dump it out into a blob onto the counter. So there is the blob. Next, I'm going to stretch it out into a fairly, without breaking it as much as possible, but I'm not going to be nuts about it. Just going to stretch it out like that. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, now that it's all that stretched out, I want to make sure that I can get it into some sort of a co cohesive ball action. And so I'm going to bring it to the center. Bringing it to the center. I know that I'm making a batard. And so here I have something more or less looking like a star. Now I'm going to roll it up. Make sure you're still within range. And close up the ends. Now I'm going to bring it toward me and stretch. We want to get some tension across the top of the dough ball. Now right now I'm going to let it sit for a while. And the reason I'm going to let it sit for a while is that I want that bottom part to adhere to itself. I have some parts on top here that aren't particularly um, perfect. They're a little bit cut. This is going to be the top of the loaf. Now I'm going to take a little brown rice flour and just smooth it on the top. This is going to be the part that sits on the bottom down here. And we want it to be a little bit on the dry side. Is good now. Now we're going to pretend that I let this sit for a little while, but I didn't because I'm making the video. So I am going to turn it over and flop it on its back into the banneton. I'm going to try to pull these things as close together as I can. It's always going to come out, it does that, and you really just try to pinch it together. There are some large holes, it's going to make that squish together. You see the problem here. Now had I left a little bit longer this would hold a little bit better but basically it's not a life or death situation. The, the bread basically is what it is. At this point I'm going to cover it with the shower cap and put it into the uh, fridge overnight. And there we have a shape loaf. It's not perfect, but it is a shape loaf. I keep encouraging it a little bit there. Now there will be a tendency to want to put some flour on it at this point, and then it comes apart and it's all very frustrating. But basically, this is what we're doing. So shower cap on and into the fridge. All right, we're good to go. Bubble.